I finally pulled the trigger and I did go ahead and get a new camera, you guys. I don't think you guys know how excited I am for this. I've been wanting a new camera for the longest time. Like, if you guys didn't know, I have the Canon G7X right now. G7X Mark II. And, like, literally my screen's broken. Like, I literally have to hold it up when I film and different things like that. So, I did go ahead and finally pick up Sony ZV-E10. I needed a new camera. I also picked up a wide-angle lens as well. So, I'm really excited to see how the quality is going to change. Uh, so, right now, like I said, this is the Canon G7X. But I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. This is going to be the new camera that we will be using from now on. I appreciate all y'all for the support, the love, subscribing. Everything, man, it means a lot. Like, I wouldn't be able to buy this camera without y'all. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. So, continue to show love. Continue to show y'all support, man. I've been wanting to up the quality on the channel for the longest time. And this is obviously the first steps. But we have a couple things we got to do today. I still got to go ahead and get dressed and get ready. This is all fresh, straight out the cut. I feel like I just need to pick up the camera and vlog. So I want to encourage you guys to go ahead and do the same thing. If you want to do YouTube or anything like that, pick up the camera and vlog. Because I be in my head a lot about vlogging and different things like that. Like if y'all are going to judge me or whatever the case may be. But I just need to pick up the camera and vlog. But I want to show y'all everything. I want to, for me to document it as well. So we did go ahead and pick this up. I'm going to go ahead and unbox it. Alright y'all, it's time for the moment of truth, man. We were filming on the Canon G7X, now we're on the Sony ZV-E10. And here it is. Let me know what you guys do think about the quality of this camera. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, this shit is something nice. It is actually way clearer, way nicer in my personal opinion. But right now, it is 2.30, so we're probably gonna head over to Best Buy because I do need to get a tripod. There was this whole thing going on. With my tripod, I bought one when I bought the camera, you know what I'm saying? So, but I guess they canceled the order and it ended up not coming in because it was an open box. So, you know, I was trying to take the cheat route, you know what I'm saying? Cheat the system. So, we're going to have to go to Best Buy and actually pick up one because I'm not going to lie. This is low-key cramping my hand up right now and this shit is low-key kind of heavy. So, and also, let me know what y'all think about the settings. Uh, I did mess with the settings a little bit. If you like the settings, let me know down below. Or uh, if the settings are just, if I should fix it or do something differently. Uh, also, let me know down below if I should start daily vlogging. I was really thinking about it before, but I want to know if y'all would actually watch it. There's a lot of cool stuff that does go on in my life, but I just want to put out content that's actually good. So let me know if I should start daily vlogging. My stomach's fucking growling because I'm hungry as fuck. But... We're going to head over to Best Buy, we're going to go thrifting, we're going to eat, and I also got to pick up some hygiene products too because I'm running low on TheraBreath, and also I want to try this new body wash show, and it's not at Target, so I have to go to Walgreens and pick that motherfucker up, but yeah, man, I'm excited, man. I'm already, uh, the, I'm looking at the viewfinder right here, this shit is crazy. I got a wide-angle lens, so that, like I said, this is Sony ZV-E10, and we do have the ultra-wide-angle lens, so you literally can see fucking everything that's going on right now. So let me know your guys' thoughts. I'm going to start talking. Let's go ahead and head over to Best Buy. So right now, I'm in Best Buy. We're going to go look at this tripod. I just love how this angle, this lens is so wide, bro. But they have a few tripods. The one I want to get is actually the Sony Vlogger. I don't know why it doesn't say the tripod, but let's see. They got a few right here. But these are like for your phone. These low key look kind of crazy. I'm not going to even lie. They got the Joby Gorilla Pod. This is the one Dez told me to get. This one. But I don't know if I'm going to pick this one up. We'll see. It doesn't even show the price on this motherfucker. I don't know. Keep looking, because this is low-key kind of weird. Holding it like this without a tripod. But supposedly they have it, so I'm going to have to ask somebody. Oh, wait. There's this one. Oh, that's a clip tripod. That's not going to work, bro. All right. I'm going to tie back in with y'all when we get what we came here to get. So we're going to go ahead and get this one. Oh, wait. Oh, I was like... This one right here, because the other one was 150, and I'm not gonna use all that extra shit. That's only like you can press, you can press record from the tripod and stuff like that. So we're just gonna go ahead and get this one. This one was 35, and then uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check out. 
All right, you guys, so the bag is secured. We did pick up the tripod. I literally opened it and put it on in there because I was not trying to hold the camera uh, how I was holding it. So right now we're finna actually head over to Chipotle and get one of the burritos. I was watching TikToks and there was this burrito that was on there and I'm like, man, let me go ahead and get that because I usually get a bowl, but that's neither here nor there. Um, and then we will go, I think we might go hygiene shopping after that. I'm not too sure, but if not, we will head over to go thrifting because I do want to find a fit. If not, I'm going to head to Zara. There was these baggy jeans I tried on. I'm going to have to pull the trigger on them and pick them up. But uh, yeah, man, so far so good with the camera. I love the camera. Everything looks good. I'm messing with the settings. So if you see like I'm brighter in some areas or I'm darker in some areas, I'm trying to fix the ISO right now. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, man, make sure I hit that like button and subscribe for your boy. I keep looking at the viewfinder. I need to be looking right here at y'all niggas just right there but yeah let me head over there because my fucking stomach is growling i'm really hungry so we're gonna head over to uh chipotle and i'm gonna tap back in with y'all when we get over there we got a burrito and then basically what the tiktok trend was we got vinegar and sour cream and then basically mixed it together and then i also just got a lemonade nothing too crazy i got the same thing i get in my bowl inside the burrito so it's nothing really different uh, but these two just mix up, put them together. All I got was chicken, cheese, red sauce, and lettuce. So. Oh god, man, burrito that fell apart, bro. But it's 10 out of 10 for sure. Definitely a suggestion you guys try. Falling apart, so I'm gonna finish up here. And then we're gonna head over to the thrift store that we're gonna head over to. So. Goddamn train is going by right now, bruh. So in these moments, this is why I probably need the mic, because I don't know how well you guys can hear me in this fucking loud ass train. The goddamn background is going crazy. But I'm gonna go into All Rebel, which is right there, the thrift store. I was supposed to be waiting on Malik, but this nigga is literally taking forever. So we're gonna go in here and see if they have anything good. I'm trying to get like a few pieces, a few vintage pieces. Uh, probably like a few vintage cheese. It's gonna start getting hot here. Uh, damn the bro, everything is just going bad. It got windy out of nowhere, all this random shit. But we are in the arch district, so the vibe down here is pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cool. Fuck, god damn, I can't do shit. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go in here. Maybe if they have some nice jeans, I need a pair of baggy jeans. So we'll go here, and if I can't find shit here, we're gonna head to Fashion Show Mall where I might pick up something from Zara because they have baggy jeans there and that's where Malik will meet us. He's running behind. Uh, but I'm gonna get inside because the wind is kind of going crazy and I know you guys can probably not hear me. Thought it was a cool graphic, so I'm gonna just try it out. We'll see. I just went ahead and tried the shirt on. It's pretty nice. Let me know what y'all think about it down below. Um, it's like a vintage racing tee, but here it is right here too. Super simple tea, nothing too crazy. Graphic on the Yeah, I might go ahead and pick it up. Today we wore the hidden floor, some more hair, sweats, my brand, y'all didn't know. And then we got the balance. But yeah, I don't know. Should I get it? I don't know. I don't know if I'm fucking with it. I think it looks cool. Let me know what y'all think, brand. This camera's just so much easier, bro. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, it's like the best thing ever. I think I might get it. 25 is kinda crazy. Probably not. So I bought the shirt, y'all. Uh, was it Impulse? Probably, yeah. I didn't really give a fuck about the shirt, but I was like, why not? We're supposed to be going out tonight, so why not buy the shirt? Um, it was a cool shirt. Fuck, I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. I just feel like I just wasted money, but it's cool. I go to Zara. I'm going to style it so you guys can see how my mind makes fits and things like of that nature. But there was some baggy jeans that I was looking at at Zara that I definitely do want to try out. So we will try those out at Zara. But I'm going to throw the shirt on now um, just so I can have it on when I'm trying on the jeans in Zara. But basically, it's just this shirt right here. Joe Rutman. I don't even know what the fuck that shit said. Joe Rutman. And it's in this like pink graphic, which is really clean and it has a nice wash on it too. It was 20 bucks. Um, they low key have higher prices at Alt Rebel. I'm not gonna lie, 30 bucks is kind of crazy or 20 bucks is kind of crazy. But we did go ahead and purchase it for y'all boys. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on real fast, give you a nice little B roll. If you a nigga and you looking right now, man, 
I'm gonna need you to stop looking. When I think about it, it is a cool little graphic tee, you know what I'm saying? It actually looks really nice, I'm not gonna lie, it is pretty nice. So it was a pretty good purchase in my opinion. But uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna wear this out with some baggy jeans. And then I've been rocking, so one thing about me, bro, I will rock the shit out of my shoes. So I've been wearing my Balenciaga 3XLs recently. So I'll probably throw those on or the tracks. My tracks low key are beat to the ground, so maybe not if we're going to the club. But Malik's supposed to be here, and like I always tell y'all, if y'all were on my other channel, this nigga is never on time, bro. This nigga is the latest nigga of all niggas. He is the final boss, late-ass nigga. But shirt's nice, you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling it, bro. We got a new camera. We getting some new clothes, bro. If y'all enjoy these type of videos, man, hit the like button and subscribe. We're going to pick up some hygiene products on the way home, too, because before we go out... Oh, should I have a basketball game? I forgot to tell you. I got a basketball game to do today, too. Should I, should I record it? Y'all let me know down below. Should I record the basketball game? Low-key, after that first game, because I played fucking terrible, bro. That After that first game where I dropped two points, the next game I dropped 40, the next game I dropped 22, and this last game I dropped 15. So for y'all, maybe I'll go ahead and drop 40 again. I honestly don't even know. But maybe I'll vlog. I'll have Giselle come to the game and vlog it for me. But it is... What time is it? Fuck. This nigga... We on a crunch time. Might not even be able to... It's 447. Our game's at 740, so... I'm going to just tell Malik to meet me over there because that probably would be way smarter than him coming all the way over here to Alt Rebel when there's not ain't shit in there. Like, I found one t-shirt and it was like a forced buy. Like, I just, let me go ahead and buy this shit. So, I just went ahead and bought the motherfucker. But if you're enjoying the vlog, man, and you're liking it, man, let me know down below if you like the camera quality, too. I'm going to keep saying this throughout the whole video. But now I am going to head over to Fashion Show. Actually, let's give Malik a call and see where this nigga's at. Hello? Hello? How far are you? Three minutes away. There's nothing in there. Do you want to just meet me at Fashion Show? Alt Rebel? No, I'm at Ro Alt Rebel, but I'm saying, do you want to just meet me at Fashion Show? I thought you said there was something at Fashion Show. No, I was. there's nothing at Alt Rebel. I bought a shirt, but I, was, I just bought it for the vlog. Are you sure there's nothing... You can come look. I'm parked here still. Yeah. I have the shirt on. I put it right on the body because I'm going to wear it tonight. We're 100% going, right? Listen, listen. Yes, yeah, sir. All right, because I'm, I'm bringing the niggas with me. What are the niggas? The Jalen squad. Not the niggas. The Jalen squad. What does that even mean? My family. What? On YouTube. Bro, this nigga acting dumb, y'all. Oh, your YouTube, your YouTube, your YouTube, your YouTube. Your my YouTube. family, my family, yes. Oh, well, my bad. I didn't know, your, I didn't know it was called your family. Hey, Malik's getting the bitches now, y'all. All right, we're not going to do this on it. Malik got a bitch on his dick right now. He excited. Oh, my God. That's not what we're going to do right now. But that's why he getting fitted. He finna get a fit, too, because he got, he got a dinner tonight. Hello? I don't know if I'm even getting with it. I, I, she, she gonna bounce that booty on that dick or what? Yeah, no comment? This nigga. Malik! Damn. Well, I'm gonna tap back in with y'all when Malik get here. This nigga ain't gonna find no goddamn clothes. This nigga might actually be smart because I could have fucking parked over here for free. Let's see, let's see his headband. This is Michael Jordan! Oh shit, now nah. That boy can't play something. He wanna look like an athlete for real. <laughs> boy, <he's... laughs> he can't help. Oh, he came with a food basketball fit. She said, I like athletes. He said, Oh yeah, baby, this is what you want. <laughs> but no, yeah, finally this nigga came. But this is the shirt. You didn't even say how you felt about the shirt. Oh, it's a nice shirt. I like the pink on it. Really? Oh, I like it. Oh, okay. I do. You finna go play basketball? This belt is nice. You think it'll fit me? Uh, yeah. Just get the BB Simmons. Is that 18 bucks? Oh, shit. No, but this one's nice. Get you that BB Simmons. These glasses are nice too, these black ones. That's that Rick Owens. So, who are you supposed to be for Halloween? Yeah, shut the okay, fuck okay, up. okay, okay, okay. But you never wear, uh, that's what I'm wondering, like what- I had to put on something quick because you, we were in a rush and I 
didn't want to do my hair before I left, so I just do a headband. Oh, the head. Okay, that makes sense. I'm I've, sure it's nice. I've seen people wear headbands. My ISO is really low, so I'm a. I'm a. I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna get back with y'all in a second. They came back with Malik and they got some heat in here. They had this, but the way they had these styles was with this vest. So I'm gonna put this over that, try that. And then they also had this brown, like, workwear jacket. It's like a Lee jacket. It has fur on the hood, too. Looks pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna try all these on and we're gonna see how they fit. You've been telling me I should grow the mustache and the goatee. I'm like, still I think trying to grow. Malik got the goatee. I have the mustache. You know I have the mustache, but the goatee is. You said it. You said it, it make you look ghetto. I said, oh, you can't say. The that grills right. make me look ghetto. I didn't say my, my grills. Hood ghetto. Make me look ghetto. I didn't say your grills. I said my goals. They be saying I look like a hoodlum. Sometimes you do. A hood rat. A hood Negro, rat, please. Hood rat, well, I'm just rat, kidding. Rat, but yeah, I'm, I'm trying to grow this, but I get so scared because it looks like dirty. I feel like I look dirty with it. But we finna head to fashion show. This nigga bought a belt. Some glasses. And some glasses and t-shirt for $100. Nigga spent a million dollars on some clothes from the thrift store. Yeah, well, how much did you spend? This was 30 and, and uh, the other one was 20 Okay, so 50 I guess that's my belt. If I were to return the belt, I feel like it would make sense. The belt was 50 itself for Malik. It was a nice belt, and on the back of the belt, it said it was worth $295. So, like... They done got this nigga, man. Comment looked, Malik down it below. Like, it looked like a good deal. Right now, we're in Zara. I'm coming to pick up these baggy jeans. I'm going to try them on with my shirts that I got. We're going to see how they look. Malik, can try them on, too? Yeah. The jeans? But, uh, yeah, let me, let me go ahead and try these on, and then I'll tell the camera on. So, it is the next day, you guys. Um, I ended up going out last night. I wasn't, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I didn't even remember to pick up the camera and film, but I'm gonna show you guys all the pickups we did pick up yesterday. Nothing too crazy, um, but I do have one of the tees on, obviously, so I'm gonna show you the whole fit. So up top, we do have this vintage tee, uh, pink accents, really nice wash on it. I had to pick it up. Back design is nice too, as well. And then we got these baggy jeans from Zara. I was really excited to get these. I've been wanting a pair of baggy jeans for the longest time, and I couldn't find any, I'm not gonna lie. I know it was a trend for a minute, but I did go ahead and pick these up as well. And then let me go ahead and switch to the other pieces that I got to. Then I also went ahead and picked up this brown flannel from Zara too. And then underneath is this like vintage long sleeve, like this cream colorway. It was really, really sick. I really liked it a lot. So I was like, why not go ahead and picked it up? This is actually what I wore to the club last night when we went. Let me know, fit check down below, rate it one through 10. But, and then we also have on the Zara uh, baggy jeans, and then we had on the Balenciaga 3XLs. So right now I'm actually finna head over to Walgreens to pick up these two hygiene products. There's these two new products that I definitely wanna try out. I've been looking at them for, I've had my eye on them for a while now. Um, it is a body wash, and then also this new Thera Breath that I definitely wanna try. So we're gonna head over there right now. We're gonna go pick it up, and then we'll see where the rest of the day takes us. Y'all, we are in the car now. We're finna head over to Walgreens. Now, this Thera Breath, it's, I forgot what it's called, but for some reason, it's literally sold out in a, all the locations. I checked CVS and I checked Walgreens, or all the locations that are at least closest to me. So we, I found one, uh, I think they just restocked, it's like 10 minutes away. So we're gonna head there first and go pick up the two items. Um, like I said, it is Thera Breath and Body Wash. So we'll go ahead and head there and let me know what y'all think about Cardi's new run, bro. He's going crazy right now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. He dropped another song with Camilla, Camilla Cabot, Bello, Bello, how the fuck you say her name, I don't know. Dropped another song today and bro, he's carrying 2024. 2024 music! That nigga wasn't lying, bro, he been dropping music. A lot so uh but yeah i'm just rambling right now i'm yapping we're gonna go ahead and head over and let's go pick up these products okay this might be the hood uh walgreens oh here just let's see they have it bruh here it is damn somebody done opened this shit and used it what the hell 
Uh, this is the one right here. The Dazzling Mint. This is the one I've been trying to get. So we're going to go ahead and get this one. Um, I'll let you guys know. Obviously, I'm going to try it when we get home, too. And then, got to get the body wash, too. I'm not going to lie. Got to get the body wash. Uh, I think it's over here. I forgot what the body wash was called. I know what it looks like, though. I have a quick question. Do you know where the body wash is? Right here. Oh, thank you. Uh, she's gonna bring it up to the front for us, and then I'll show y'all in the car the body wash, or I'll, or I'll show y'all when we get home, but I don't know why they lock their body washes up, bro. They have a wood thing in front of the door, too. People must be stealing out of here. So I'm gonna hurry up and try to dip out of here while I can. Oh, the line starts over there. That was pretty awkward. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in a second. I'm gonna need y'all to hit that like button and subscribe because this shit is expensive. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I spent $23 on two items. That's kind of crazy, but this is the body wash right here. It is the Smoothing Coconut Coffee Scrub and Wash. I don't even know who this is by. Beauty Pure OGX. I had a recommendation on TikTok, so I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. And then you guys obviously know we went ahead and picked up the mouthwash too so i'm definitely excited to try this too so when i get home i'll go ahead and try both of these and give you guys my honest review so we're gonna try this and i'm probably gonna wrap up the vlog here i don't know let me know what y'all think about the new camera and the vlog man really excited for the new content to come trips planned already too uh on the way coming in the future so i'll have more you know what i'm saying more entertaining type vlogs but let's go ahead and try this as you guys know i tried the blue one and i also tried the pink one this is the dazzling mint so i'm actually excited to try this the body wash i'll just have to stay tuned to the next vid so you guys can see that as well brother but y'all know i don't bs i give you guys my honest review if i'm picking up something this one smells crazy i'm not gonna lie um let's go ahead and do it i think that's good Mm-hmm. 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 I see why I was sold out, bro. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm gonna give you guys an honest review. 10 out of 10 right here. If you guys can find this one at your Walgreens, Walmart, wherever, go ahead and pick up the Dazzling Mint. Goes crazy. You guys obviously know I picked up the body wash, but obviously I'm not gonna show y'all my naked ass get in the shower and put this shit on. But let me actually smell it. I can give you a smell test on cam. That is, uh, that's something else right there, so. <coughs> oh, shit. The two things we picked up in today's video, man. Hopefully y'all enjoy, man. More vlogs on the way. Hit that like button and subscribe down below. Turn the notification bell on so you're notified every time I upload a video. I appreciate all y'all, man. I love all y'all. More bangers in the future, man. Let's run up the views on this one. Day in the life. Uh, vlog, new cam, new vibes, new blessings on the way. I appreciate y'all, y'all, man. Stay blessed, and I'll catch y'all boys in the next one. Your boy is out. Peace.